we are at <laughs> a distillery. We're in the town of Annan. Well, we're just outside the town of Annan, which is near Gretna Green, which is near the border of England, not too far away. And, wow, well, look at that, I see Pagoda. Let's go and find out what, what it's like. I guess we have to park up here. Slightly concerned that all our bags are in the car, but um, I'm sure it will be fine. Let's look at horses. Looks like fresh barrels. Let's see where they're coming from. Woodford Reserve. Barrels. I'm sure you can read it. Mm. Let's see where these are from. Brown Foreman. It's 2014. We did try the new make spirit at the friends last night, so so we're at 2019, uh, presumably they're at about four, maybe five year old whiskey. That is a nice gate. Well, I've certainly spent a little bit of money <laughs> getting this ready. <laughs> it smells of bourbon. Mm. It smells of bourbon, of course. Quite strong. Oh, manica, oh, manica. Oh, manica. Oh, yeah, manica. brown foreman. I didn't think you would smell the bourbon that strongly. Uh, uh. Oh, mm. Heaven Hill. So I brought some Elijah Craig. <laughs> it's probably probably been uh, in some of these barrels. Lovely old stone buildings. As we go to the distillery shop, there's a nice cafe as well. Ooh, look at that. Let's have a look in the shop. Talk to you. Hi there. Hey. Okay, so these are your first. You've been open about four or five years. I'm Phil, by the way. Oh, and what's your name? Ben. Ben. Oh, ben. B for Ben. So you basically have a peated and uh, unpeated at this point? Yes. So we have a Man of Words bourbon. Yeah. And we have a Man of Words sherry cask. Oh, so okay, you've got two. I see. And we've got the peated and the, sh the bourbon and the sherry, of course. Oh, I see. So they basically have a bourbon and a sherry oh, okay. and a peated and unpeated of oh. each one. So you actually, you actually have four different types. So and, and the blend is probably not your spirit? It is our spirit, so okay. it's the Mother's Sword, so that has gone into a single grind and blended in the for Got it, so it's taking some of these and then making a, yeah. a blended whiskey. What we're doing here is single malt, yeah. single cask and cask strength. Okay. So each one of them is like 60% alcohol. Oh, so these are all single cask? And cask strength, yeah. Fantastic. About 60. Good. So um, you're not batting anything at this point. No. You're just like, there's a good barrel. We won't be batting ever. Oh, that's the plan. We won't like, be finishing either. There's a barrel. Bottle it. Exactly. Yeah. Would you like to try some? Right. Yeah, that would be great. Ooh, you're okay. Water. Yeah. 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 That's fine. There we go. So we are on the the straight bourbon at this point. So this is the bourbon cask. So it's an ex bourbon cask, so it yeah. is still stuck. Yeah. The Annie. The casks come from a range of distilleries in America. Yeah, I was having a look at size. They're here, they smell of vanilla. Here's the thing, hold that for me. I brought something that you would like to try. Ooh. 
Elijah Clay Battleproof from Heaven Hill. Ah, oh, fantastic. I'm not sure on the loads. You, 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 you can pour a sample bottle, and if you don't have any, I've got some. Oh, and also an Old Forester 1920, oh, which is, hang on, who's that? Do you know who Old Forester is now? I've heard of the brand. Um, do we have okay. <laughs> Shall we buy more doors? I've got, I've got these little jars if you need them. Okay. 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 So, yeah, because when I walked in and I... Okay. We live in San Francisco. I saw the Heaven Hill barrels outside. I was surprised how much aroma was coming off those barrels, just wow. sitting out in the shipyard. We keep them moist. We keep them moist because... Oh, yeah, fill it up. Sure. These bottles aren't going back because the whole purpose is to bring them and sit at them where we've been places. It's so common. Usually I get people a lot more drunk so that they make me drunk. Yeah. Because they don't get it. Right. We'll have a drop later on so. That yeah. cover, does that <laughs> come in your house? Oh, nice. Oh. So, so it is nice, light, honeyed. A little bit of that broken so, barrel now, we're starting to recognise it. Oh, no, it's quite easy. Yeah. 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 yeah, have a sip. Okay. Alright, so I don't put it through the till. So we're at 60%, right? 60%. In the shit, in the seat. I forgot to remind you it's right, 60%. Okay, that's fine. It's fat, it's oily, it's oily. oily. Okay, okay, that's perfect. Right, it's tough. Go right. with the sift out of him. Oh. Hmm? Right, I'm all over to the hundred rounds. That's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. We'll be all together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's got a great finish, hasn't it? Yeah, thank you. So, so, so sweet. Apricots, plums. Um, yeah. We've added no. 36 kilograms of distilled yeast. Sorry. Right, because we've added so much yeast, it brings out the very fruity flavours. Yeah, oh. I see. So the amount awesome. of yeast makes a difference. So, so it, it is fruity with the alcohol like cake. Light honey, and and so but that really nice bourbon finish. I'm getting a giant lemony, but it's not sour. Yeah, lovely. I'll put this up in a minute. I mean, it's straightforward bourbon barrel, but light, rich, fruity. Uh, and and okay. mellow. Stop this faster than I'm a nigger. <laughs> no, just, I just want a little bit. That's good. Yeah. So this one, now these are both called Man of Words. Man of Words. So it's Man of Words bourbon or Man of Words sherry. Yeah. Full time. The reason we yeah. call it Man of Words and Man of Sword. Yeah, because the Man of Words is a reference to Robert Burns. Oh yes, of course. Cool. And the Man of Sword is a reference to Robert the Bruce. Ah, yeah. got it. The upper can I the same forever, I need a sherry as well. The I need a sherry. And it's Oloroso, I presume? Oloroso, yeah. 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 No, you, can, you can smell that Oloroso yeah. sitting on the top now. Well, it's not a finish, it's yeah. fully matured in Oloroso. Fully matured. Yeah. The problem that I have is because it's a 500 litre barrel, it's a very big barrel, mm. is that it needs a little bit more time because mm. this is quite young for a sherry. Uh, right. But maybe it's a single cask or make up for it. Yeah, it is a little harsh compared to the bourbon, isn't it? I see what you mean. Okay. The bourbon's winning for us so far, but Deep is a bit of a peat head, so. We'll see what happens next. And that has is that the sherry peat or is that the bourbon peat? This is the bourbon peat. Got it. So do you like the first? Yeah. Man of sword? Mm -hmm. It's used to the alcohol, as you probably know. Yeah. Um, the, light, the more you drink, so people will say towards the end, this one's their favourite. I tell them to take it with a pinch of salt yeah. because for that reason. Although we do have a rivalry going on, she thinks the amount of words is better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lemon, pineapple and peat. I mean, effectively, it should be very similar to this, mm -hmm. the bourbon, but yeah. with, with peat. It's only 45 parts per million before okay. maturation. I don't know about your hard baked sort of bourbon yeah. or temperature. And the, the peat or the... So the grain comes from Space Oats, so northeast, near mm -hmm. Paul Gordon. So our body tends to be a lot softer, a bit lighter. Mm -hmm. And then with a mixture of that peat, it gives it a nice equal sort of balance. I the most. Well, you're a bit of a peat head, that's why. Yeah, I like the most. And it's a even. Yeah. I very smoky. Sweeter than our bag, though. But I'm still getting that oily. Yeah, well, that's 60%. And the peat is different. It's not ashy, is it? 
Sorry, I don't know your name. Sorry, I'm Sam. <laughs> Sam. I'm Phil. That's deeper. Sam. Sam. Sam was giving directions for about 20 minutes on the phone. <laughs> Trying to get someone here. I think for me, I think I'm still, I still like the bourbon. We got a, a bottle of and I'm reckon enough of fruit. If less fruity because of the smoke? I feel the first one is very a bourbon. It's really Sherry and Pete. It must be pretty exciting getting to bottle the first the first bottles having to wait the three years oh. or four that you waited. Sam's new. Sam's new and I've yeah. been, I'm less new than that. Yeah. Um, I've been here just over a year, you've been here about almost two months now, so yeah. but she's from the area. So we right. actually sold the Rascal liquor by the way for that. Our yeah. other colleague who's fortunately ill today. Right. <laughs> clip, Unfortunately for he's him. He's been here since the very start, yeah. Yeah. I used to actually live down in Ock and Cairn quite a, 20 years ago, at Castle Douglas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lived there for a year. Uh, so is the sherry stronger than the peat now? Mm. Let's see. So how did you two meet them? We, we were in college together. In, in London. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In London, yeah. Oh yeah, a little more spicy, it's got that. Maybe it is a European out there. With yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It's sherry and oily. It's think, very nice. I, no, for me, I think I need to come back in a few years for this one. <laughs> but we did too much for you. I think it's a bit too young. Mm. Okay, so we're back to back to the first one. Did you taste? I need, I need bourbon. I'm not tasting it. Hmm. It's the one for me. I think at, at the age. Plus it represents sort of the baseline yeah. of what the distillery is at this point. Very uh straightforward garnish. Yeah. Uh where's it going? A garnish of yeah. an idea. Yeah. I mean oh, it, it does look amazing for walking here, in. For here, for that, for, for here. What year was that? Two thousand and six. Hello. 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 This is our general manager. Oh, hello. How you doing? <laughs> what was your name? David. Hi David. You're on camera, <laughs> just, just warning you. Um, do you like bourbon? I'm a big fan of bourbon. Have you tried Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or Old Forester 1920? I've tried Elijah Craig but not small batch mm. barrel proof. Today's your day. I wish I could. You can pour some for later. <laughs> that would be very nice of you. I've, 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 I have left some here. Okay. If you can find yourself some you? bottles, Thank you. fill some up. I've just finished uh, over the weekend there, uh, the last of my 18 year old Jefferson. Oh, very nice. Which, uh, now unfortunately I probably shouldn't admit it, certainly on camera. <laughs> most, of my, uh, <laughs> most of my spirit shelf is, is bourbon, oh, right. rather than single malt scotch. But, um, yeah. Well, it. you know, it's research for barrels, surely. This is very true. It's part of, very you know, true. you need to know uh, where it's coming from. Okay, now we're heading off to the US with it. So, we're a Poland, everywhere. Nice, thank you. Sorry for taking up a bit of our time. Out walking. Yeah, so it's the sort of whiskey for the movie. It's licensed by Netflix, and we're the out walking in the movie all about Robert the Bruce, and the films here in Scotland. So yeah, so getting six retailers lined up to go and meet out there. Fantastic. Kind of putting a plan together for that. And the big hope for that is obviously it opens the door for some other brands of ours. When it was Johnny Walker, you know, way back. I'm, I'm never here to get up for you. a little uh, break down here. Ah, uh, here you go. But you can see the, the rounds where the two yeah. stills would have sat. Oh, I see. So the round bricks where the stills, the old stills oh, used to be. So Johnny Walker left in 1918. <laughs> yeah, quite a while back. <laughs> um, and then in 1924, he'd, he'd left um, Annandale completely. You can see by the way that the metals, it, they obviously left in a bit of a yeah. hurry. Um, <laughs> it was still called Annandale yeah, at that yeah, we, time. We, and it was part of Johnny original... Walker blend at that time. They, it, the thought process blend? is, yes, well, he was uh, distilling the peated part of the black label, red label blends. Got it. Okay. So this is sort of it one of a, the malts that have been sent then for bottling within. It was a peated 
only distillery at that time. Well, you know, the, the Lowlands obviously known for this sort of soft, easy yeah, going yeah. style of whiskey, which actually through the research our owners did here, uh, Annandale was one of three uh, heated whiskey distilleries in the area. Right, and okay. we are surrounded by people. As you'll make your way south ah. in 75 there, if you look, keep your eyes left, yeah. you just see them, they're still So they farming. would have used local peat at that, Very much so. that time for here. Um, so the chimney, original chimney, yeah. as is um, the sort of pagoda roof that we've got on top there. So the child toy. I was surprised uh, when I drove in and it's like, okay, the pagoda roof is up there. So see where the mezzanine layer would have sat within right. this ridge here. Oh, yeah. Um, that's where the body blank. would have gone after being in the malting floor. Yeah. Through the two of the windows there, they would have thrown in the peat to the, the fire where we're now. Right, so this down. was the old and malting floor the, upstairs. Uh, Pagoda roof would have done its job. Yeah, we would have been standing <laughs> in the fire. Exactly that, yeah. So if we were at the top of them, we'd put the, the body for here, we'd put the peak. So this you know, would have been the malting floor originally. Oh, I see. You move on. Yeah. So here there was, you can see three different distillers in its early life. Oh, yeah. From its, uh, from its birth, Johnny Walker being the last. Right. Then fell to the farmer. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's a few I think, porridge oats and, and things like this. Oh, yeah. It then fell derelict but to the farming. And when Dave and Teresa arrived, our owners, it was being used as cattle sheds and chicken right. tinks. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Picture from the 1900s of the uh, look at that Johnny Walker crew. Fantastic with dog. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is our, our boys. <laughs> one or two oh, changes now. Nice. Yeah, one or two changes, and we now have a dog. <laughs> <Nice>. So have <laughs> <laughs> to Photoshop that dog in. Yeah, the outfits down below them. Right. Yeah, I did look at them. This is part of the the Netflix uh, the Netflix. King. Yeah. So these are original. They're props on the movie yeah. and. Uh, outfits they wore in the movie. Right. So that movie's complete now? Or is it yeah, going to... It's been trending on Netflix, so it's probably about six months old now. Yeah. And it's done very well for them. So it's great to get involved and to have, you know, to be able to have Netflix on your label. Yeah, it's fantastic. For a little place like ours. Yeah. Jim Swan, did you know who Jim Swan is? Uh, I'm not sure. So the chap there on the left, the right, yeah. right is David, our owner, and the yeah. left is Jim Swan. So he was a, an industry leader, helped set up many of the distillery around the world. Ah, I probably should uh, know Jim Swan, but... Oh yeah, uh, right. Home, got home and it was oh home. yeah, okay. And he, he pioneered something that, that we've taken on here, which is the, the three stills. I always like looking down through the... <laughs> off of <him>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Health and safety. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we, so we have one large wash still and two spirit uh, stills. Yeah, so you're on. Quite, uh, quite key. Well, guys, the farmer's just come and picked up the spent grain. I don't know if you saw oh, that. Oh, yeah, so the, the, the cows are going to be happy. Indeed. They also pick up our effort as well. Right. We can still six days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, wooden. Beautiful, yeah. David our owner wanted it to be as traditional as it could be. We're in the original footprint of the building as well, so right. we kind of one went fit in. Yeah. And two wanted uh, wanted it to be a very traditional process. So the guys here, you know, it's well, there's one or two buttons. On yeah. The board, they generally, <laughs> they crank the handles. They're in the mash tun to clean it out. It's all yeah. very uh, craft. If you're not hands off. Wow. Where, so where do you get a wooden washback made these days? Well, there's four sides that help uh, make it all. Yeah, because that is a bit reactive at the moment. With any glasses? Mind your glasses. <laughs> right. So the yeast in there doing its job. You can oh, see yeah. the uh, see everything happening on top there. Uh, that's that's all to help. Oh, that in case it bubbles over. I see. Just to keep the froth down. Exactly that. A lot of some uh, distilleries put in chemicals to help do that, but we don't do anything. Yeah. So. Every now and again there's an emergency and we get called out in the middle of the night to come and uh, save the day. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Get a good nose of that one. Yeah. Uh, 
and they're, they're, they're steam, they're obviously using Ooh. wood as a very yeah. organic process in the maintaining bacteria and things like that, keeping things clean is yeah, sure. it's, uh, it's a much tougher job rather than using the stainless steel, but yeah. uh, the timeless process is worthwhile at the end. I think it pays dividends in the end. Right. And then we have yeah, the... Okay. Uh, Here's the... So to create the quite drinkable white spirit, yeah. uh, new make spirit that we have, and an northern amount of copper contact is driven by the larger wash still, okay. two smaller spirit still. So the foot plasmine is there, gets split into two after its distillation, and then the steel within the spirit stills, and then off to the, the filling hole. But a huge amount of that, it's very rich, the, the waste is very rich in copper. So right. That's why the farmer takes it and put back on the field. So it I definitely see. does its job in that sense. Nice, and you've got your, nothing running at the moment. But. So they come in early to beat the heat of the day, allow the yeast to do their job properly. Yeah, I mean, what's the temperature in here right now? It's, uh, I don't want to guess. But it's hot. Yes, and nothing's on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, uh, Los Angeles in the summer yeah. <laughs> in here at the moment. Yeah, and these are, yeah, hot bath temperature and nothing's running so this is because it was it was running earlier and it's still yes, hot so they're, yeah. they're, they're running earlier so they're taking off uh, Saturdays uh, still today and then yeah obviously the mash has been put in today for Monday right it sits in the wash back then they start on that tomorrow and repeat the process as we go forward fantastic Yes, apart from the heat, there's not too much to complain about in the uh, working environment. <laughs> in there, no, it's quite beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It is quite beautiful. Yeah. Sort of the, the original building, the way they have. I think it took a little longer than anticipated, but... Yeah, but you can... You start unraveling you can, old buildings. You can see how much work's been put so into it. Yeah. We learned our lessons there with the globe as well. Right. <laughs> that was built earlier, 1610. So. Right. And I'm sure as soon as you start, you know, fixing something, you've got to then uh, qualify everything on modern standards and all the regulations, Indeed. and especially for a visitor centre, I'm sure. Who did all the woodwork for you then? Uh, another friend of the stained glass lady. Oh yeah. Uh, Ian Cameron Smith. Okay. He's in yeah. Okay. I'm just going to get the warehouse here and I'll show you whenever. Oh, thanks, David. It's great. We're getting a little little <laughs> personal tour. <laughs> yeah, it's the old building. Yeah. Yes, the old building makes you feel young. <laughs> this would have been the original water source. Yeah, of course. Quite have the same uh, levels as we need. So yeah. we have a borehole, which is the other side here. Right. But you're still drawing local water. Very much so, yeah. Ah. Now this is the best aroma. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So here, Very here nice. the warehouse holds about 2,000 casks. Yeah. And generally, we try and keep all the private casks here on site. Yeah. So you can see her prints, her raw ones. Oh, yeah. Nice. She has one. Yeah, there's these these ones on top here show the, the private cast. This was the so we had the producers and the actors and everyone from the film down for a launch, which is nice. And uh, then we keep a few of each vintage, if you like, here on site. Yeah. The rest of the moment has been sent uh, sent away to Freetown, but which is why we're building our own. Yeah. House. Okay. We've got everything to kind of come home to roost. Yeah. And it's some big sherry butts, are they? Sherry. They are sherry. Yeah. And for our private cask owners, we do a lot of. Um, what we try and do is find something different every month to offer them. I see. Um, so we have Chateau Neuf de Pat red wine, we have some uh, French Burgundy, white and red, uh, port, rum. I might have had... I see, so this is part of your... Ex tequila casks. Oh yeah. <laughs> and um, rum, that seems quite popular. Cognac casks. And we always want to know the provenance, so there's a lot of work yeah. that goes into the background of all of that. But um, that's quite an interesting world. It's, it's nice, nice yeah. finding them. 
So what does a uh, you don't realise it's necessarily aged in wood, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what does a cask cost then? Bourbon casks are two hundred litres, two thousand five hundred and eighty. Yeah, okay. Which that's the initial investment. And then, so you're, you're buying years. that new make is going in at that point and presume there's some rent involved between now and whenever you well, want to bottle not, it? No, that's, that's <laughs> that as a package, that's your 10-year maturation. Oh. So, for £2,500, yeah. you can leave it with us for 10 years. There you go. Um, you want to buy a barrel? Two and a half thousand. Mm-hmm. Come back in 10 years. Oh. Have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the end of that, yeah. fortunately or unfortunately, you have to pay the tax man a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and obviously there's a bottling cost. Yeah. All in all, as a, we'll rough it out, there's about seven grand after all that's done. Yeah. 230 bottles. Yeah, okay. I think okay. share there and thereabouts. Yeah. We work about 2% a year on that. Yeah. Um, 30 odds, 37 pound a bottle it works. Yeah, to, which, got it. You know, I think that's uh, great value for money when you can yeah. see what we're already doing with the brand, so. Fantastic. So, yeah. So what's the benefit to you of doing that? Is it partly to get people involved and you know yeah there's a bit of both really obviously you know we're not making gin we're not making yeah. we're not diluting the brand in, in that sense with any of those um sort of spirits so we want to get a bit of income. money up front there's yeah. a great income obviously at the back of that yeah the the second purpose to it is to kind of increase the family of that yeah and we're very much involved in that it's not just buy a cask and see you in 10 years yeah we you're welcome to people come and bring and then someone came for their first birthday of their right. cast, they brought come a, a Come and hug, yeah. hug their cast, <laughs> get a, a cake, picture of their cast. Cake in a balloon. Fantastic. We didn't, we didn't let them light the candle, obviously. Yeah. That wouldn't have been good. Um, <laughs> but no, and we send samples every year. We, our our right. and whiskey specialists will taste the liquids, make sure they're going in the right direction. Yeah. Let them know whether, you know, maturation is maybe happening too fast. Do you want to slow it down and put it into a different cast? Are you happy with it? See. Or just kind of, yeah. Um, and presumably it doesn't have to be 10, people could say, I, I want it now, or how do you how do you run it? three years, three yeah, course, years yeah. and it's legally whiskey, but yes, you can take it whenever, after yeah. three years, take it whenever you like. And if you wanted to go to 20? We can have a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And obviously building the new warehouse, we're going to have the bottling hall there, and yeah, we're putting together packages where we can help with... They're going uh, to, you're bottling off site at the moment? Presumably? Yes, we are. Or they're going to be bottling on site once they've finished building. Oh, yes. yeah. So, more, more into it. Yeah. Same promise. No, no yeah, plans for malting on site at this point. Uh, well, <laughs> I think there's a romantic view that we would like to. It's, it's yeah. Of a, of a <laughs> yeah. You can only but, do so much, right, at the yeah. time. And at the moment, it, it's our restaurant. So yeah. We have a 60 seat uh, uh, cafe in there, which, yeah. which does very well, and it's actually. Um, it's a great local draw, so people yeah. within sort of 50 right, minutes, just to come hour, up, bring friends lockdown. over, people who visit, because the cafe, which haven't even oh, looked in yet, nice. but there's a very nice cafe in here. Yeah, like guys are there, eight o'clock in the morning, making the scones and cakes and. So how many people food. are working in you know, yeah. com- the whole thing now? We employ thirty. Yeah. So and it depends on the day of the week as to how many there are at yeah. any one time, but probably yeah. half those of a day. Yeah. Um, yeah. And a lot of that will be in the. The visitor side of it. Oh, very much so. The production yeah. team's only five strong. Right, yeah. So <coughs> I think that's probably quite small for, yeah. for considering what we're doing. Yeah. Um, when the warehouse is open, the new warehouse, we may have to look at that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we have another five or so of us upstairs, and the rest are all, yeah, and yeah. Uh, tour and retail and hospitality. So. Fantastic. Overall, I'm very impressed. Yeah, very impressed walking in. Yeah. That I've got the Yeah. Confidence no, it, it to buy happen. a barrel? That's what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not as pretty as our old one here. Sure, I mean, it's. One, so we were hiding out the way a bit. Kind of like, uh, you know, uh, is it Lafroy? I think it was on Isla. You know, they have their Dunnage warehouse. <laughs> then just down the road, there's some giant green yeah. modern buildings <laughs> where all the whiskey is really sitting, apart from their, their collectible stuff. But. I think so long as it's in the. And then itself has a, a microclimate. That's, right. You know the, the buildings aren't monitored by temperature. That's yeah. Um, we, we sit quite nicely in this valley for a consistent temperature. So yeah. We want to bring it all back. I think that's the main thing. As long as it's maturing in Annan. Fantastic. We're, uh, we're doing the right thing. Let's have a look at the cafe. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're just, oh, we're, just we're just waving <laughs> we're just waving cameras around oh, at the moment. Yeah. That's fantastic.
<laughs> hey, thanks a lot, Dave. Really well, appreciate you showing us around. Pleasure. Deep has already got distracted by cakes. Doesn't care about you anymore. That's like blind <laughs> You take the whiskey, you take the we need our more suitcase. We may need another suitcase. So that was fun. And that was very interesting because it's part of the newest ever part of us. Yeah. I mean, um, so the, the bottle is expensive. Mm. So it's 120 something pounds for, for, four years. A, for a four year old whiskey. It is cask strength. Uh, it's actually single, single cask, I think. But you know, we wanted to support support the new distillery. The first uh, four year needs the first profession. But they were very generous and gave us samples of the other oh. bottles, and we gave them some good samples of Old Forester and Elijah Craig. So there's something nice about seeing the Heaven Hill barrel here, and then thinking that that's what's making the Scottish whiskey, and having Elijah Craig with us. Beautiful.